Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we are over at Toys R Us. Of course, because this is where we usually go pop hunting, and I heard that Toys R Us here in Canada has been getting in a lot more figures, so let's go in, see what's new, and let's get started. Okay, so we have made it to the pop section. I'm noticing that they do have some new stuff. And one thing that I am noticing right away is it looks like they got in some of the art series DC characters. And the first one I noticed here is the Riddler. And I'm thinking about getting this one just because I really do like the way they do it, where they don't just paint the entire thing art series. They give him the kind of like mask that he wears. It's pretty nice. And then right below the Riddler, they actually have some new sports ones. They've got Damian Lillard, LeBron James. I think this is a new one. It seems to be a new Lakers jersey. And then over here, they did get in Candyman. And I know that there is a chase for this one. They have both, but it doesn't look like they've got the chase one. And then they also got in the Raptor, which is a Canada exclusive. And if you guys haven't seen this one before, I see this one everywhere. That's my problem. You guys might see the ones if you're from the US that isn't a Canada exclusive, but this is the one that I see everywhere. I'm looking for the other one. Oh, and actually I stand corrected on the basketball figures. They got in the new Zion Williamson and Noah. You getting it today? It's pretty nice. They got, they got his haircut right on the side there. Yeah, it is not a bad one. <laughs> Think about it. Actually, guys, I stand corrected because it looks like they have almost all of the new set with John Morant. They also have Luka Doncic back there and then Jason Tatum. So it's pretty much the entire thing. And if you guys want to check out the back of the box, here's all the new ones. And then above that, guys, they've got some of the ones from The Witcher. We also have actually two of them from The Witcher, which is pretty cool. And if you guys want to see the back of the box there, it looks like they don't have two of them. Or at least I haven't seen them yet. And actually right beside this one, it looks like they have one of the Selena Kyle from the Batman. And it looks like she tried to claw her way out of this one. Get it? Cause she's a cat. Come on, she's a cat. And speaking about the Batman, they do have the Batmobile up here, which we looked at in yesterday's video. And then speaking of Catwoman, if we're going back to her, they also have the art series one from Batman Returns. And now this one here, I don't know if I'm gonna grab, but I will definitely show it off to you guys if you wanna see it a little bit closer up. And then if you're wondering about the art series Splinter, it looks like they still don't have it. And then as we go a little bit farther over, I'm not noticing much else that is new. Like I think we've seen almost all of these ones here before, but we haven't seen these ones yet. We have Dober Higgins as well as Bjorn Cranmore. Bjorn Cranmore, not Bjorn, sorry about that. If anybody out there's named Bjorn, I apologize. And this one I haven't got in yet, which is too bad because I wanted to do a whole Christmas village in December and this one just never arrived. And I believe that this one was a pre-order, so maybe it's still gonna be coming. I just haven't received it yet, which is too bad. And now before we keep going, if you guys wanna see a swoop of this entire section. This is what it's looking like, and there's a lot of really great pops today. Okay, no, no, what did you find here? It's a Speed Champion poly bag. Interesting, I don't think we've ever seen that before. I've never seen one, no. Hmm. Must be new. Must be. And since we're at this section, this here seems to be like maybe the overflow as well as some of the ones that are on sale. And I figured I might as well show it off because they do have some interesting ones here like the DJ Khaled, as well as, I always get his name wrong, is it Duffy? It's Daffy. I don't know why I get that wrong. And then in terms of the pot pins over on the side here, a lot of these are the exact same ones that we see all the time, but I did notice they got one new one which was down here and it's the Kramer. And I don't know if there's a chase for this one, but if there is a chase, they probably have it. All right, everybody, so we are out of Toys R Us, and I wanted to show you guys what I picked up today because it was some pretty decent stuff. The first thing we got was a new puzzle for Grandpa. He had asked us for one before we left, and I was like, you know what, let's go with this one here because he really enjoys Volkswagens, and it's a pretty funny puzzle. And I believe it's just a collectible tin. We're not actually building the bus, and if you guys want to see what the picture looks like, there it is. Then I did end up getting the Riddler, and if you guys want to check him out, here he is a little bit closer up, and I really am excited about this one. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be getting the entire set for this, because there is a bunch of different versions of Batman, as well as the Catwoman, which I didn't end up picking up, but they did have a bunch, so if there is some next time, I might grab her. And taking a look at the Riddler a little bit closer up, I love how they did this one with the hat, with the question mark in it, as well as his cane, and just overall, it's a pretty well-done art series. And when I'm looking at this one here, it doesn't actually look that stretched, which is nice, because that happens a lot with them, and it doesn't seem to be too too bad. And then when I was cashing out, I looked behind the counter and they had a bunch of sodas and there was two left of one that I was still looking for the chase. And that soda there was Sully. So I did end up grabbing both of them and we'll open them up when we get back to the office because I really am pumped to see if we did get the flocked version. And actually we are already in front of That's Entertainment, our next store, so let's go in. And now let's start with their normal priced figures because they always have a huge section of them. And it looks like they did get in some new stuff today. I'm noticing some of the 25th anniversary Yu-Gi-Oh! as well as some of the back 
Bakugan one, Samurai Jack, and a bunch of the boxing figures too. And then as I go a little bit farther over, I'm noticing they got the Hershey's Kiss, as well as Birdie the Early Bird, some What If ones, Morpheus from The Matrix, the Trix Rabbit, as well as Fruit Loops, which are two really great ones. And then they also have Horsey, as well as Sully and Mike Wazowski. And then as we get a little bit farther over here, these are the ones that I believe were traded in. So they're ones that you wouldn't see very often, like the TARDIS, as well as Davros? I think that's how you pronounce it. And then as we get farther into the trade-ins, there are some pretty interesting ones today. And I'll just kind of go through them a little bit if you guys want to check them out. I'm not going to be able to name every single one just because of the amount they have. But there is one that kind of stood out to me and I want to show it off today. And it is this right here, the Mario Morer. And I'm thinking about getting this one today just because of how weird it is and it's only $20. This is the Golden Chase version. And we looked him up and don't really know much about him. So if you guys know anything about who Mario is, please let me know in the comment section below because I'm looking on the back here and it says 8 deuce 8 trademark and then 8 deuce 8 dot com. I have no clue. And now let's take a look at some of the stuff in the cabinet because they've got lots of chases down here. And then this one, which is a Legion exclusive. It's a Red Miller from Mandy. I have never seen this thing before. And then as we get a little bit higher up, they've got like some of the ones from The Office with the Dwight without a shirt on, as well as the Facebook Jim Halpert. We've also got the Chase Popple, and I've actually been wanting this one for a while, but the problem is that this one here is damaged, so that's why I've been skipping on it. And then we've got a couple two-packs, as well as the Alfred Hitchcock figure, which I really enjoy. This is one of my favorites from the director's line. We've also got a couple Venomized figures, Phantom Shadow, and then one that you don't see very often up here is the original Buddy the Elf, which I do have in the collection, and I love this figure. And then on the side of the same cabinet, they've got a couple other figures with like Sabretooth, as well as Darkseid, Disgust, Mojo Jojo, Comic Book Guy, Mr. Freeze, Raz Al Ghul, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and then way up at the top here, the Alex Armstrong with glitter. And now normally they've got two cabinets with pops, this one here as well as this one right here. But today it appears to be filled with DVD box sets, and I'm debating I'm not going to be getting this one today. I was thinking about it, it is the complete series of Fraggle Rock for the 25th anniversary, it's tempting. But anyways, this isn't what I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to show you that they actually got a brand new cabinet for pops, and it looks like they've got a bunch of new ones here, or at least new ones for the this store. So if you guys want to check it out, we've got like a bunch of the DC ones over here. We've got like Dune, Fortnite, Captain Marvel, actually a bunch of the Captain Marvel ones. Wait, way more than I thought. And then over on this side here, they've got a bunch more figures like some Game of Thrones, South Park, Avatar, Masters of the Universe, as well as this one up here, which is Mike TV, a pretty funny pop. And then over on the last side, they've got a bunch of other figures like Goliath from Evolve, as well as Red Hood versus Deathstroke. And then if you look up here, they've got like Kingdom Hearts, The Tick, a bunch of football ones, Jeffrey the Giraffe, and most versions of them. And then down here, I know we've talked about this one before when we've come, but they also have the original Robin, and I'm debating on getting them today. Now you guys haven't been seeing this, but I've been debating on which figure to get. If it's going to be this one here, which is a Pop Asia one, and we don't know much about this guy, or this one up here, Bora from Astro Boy. And they're both the exact same price. They both came out in 20. 15. I'm just thinking, which one do I grab? Because it's really a tough one. Because here's what I'm thinking. This one is a chase. We didn't know anything about him, so it's kind of like a weird figure. And then we also have Bora up here, which is like a cool one from Astro Boy. I don't know. No, I gotta ask. What do you think out of the two? Why don't you get both of those? Both? And don't get the Robin. Or what if we get all three? <laughs> well, Let's do that. If that's an option, I guess you can do that too. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we are now back from pop hunting. And over at That's Entertainment, I ended up getting two figures. I didn't get the Robin because I see that figure every single time that we go, so I just ended up getting the Pop Asia ones, and I figured that'd be good for today. That and the fact that when he asked me how many figures I wanted out of the cabinet, I only said one. I couldn't say two. It would have been awkward. I'm not great in public. Let's just get into the figures. And so here are the two that I ended up getting, guys. The Chase Mario Morer, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, as well as Bora from Astro Boy. And both of these pops were $20 each, so I figured it'd be some fun stuff to pick up because I've never seen this in person before. Well, actually, I might be lying about that. I feel like I've seen this one in person maybe at like a Comic-Con or at Toy Tokyo a long time ago, but this one here, I don't think I ever have. And so I guess we'll talk about Bora first because this one here is a 2015 Pop Asia Funko exclusive and I really enjoy that sticker on the front. And if you guys want to see the sticker that I'm talking about, there it is. Like it's got a dragon in the middle of it. It's got some really nice detail. And looking on the back of the box, there's a lot of interesting figures. And I remember Funko had announced them back in like, I want to say 2015. And when they first came out, I could not get them because they were Pop Asia exclusives. And so for me back in 2015, they were pretty hard to find. And I guess today, now I can find them at my local store. And if you guys want to see the back of the box with Astro Boy on there, as well as all of the other characters, there they are. And I think the only other one that I would want for my collection is Astro Boy. But if I see any of the other figures, I'll probably get them too. Because I mean, $20 for a pretty unique figure like this, 
I'll take it. And now I also want to pop this one out of the box to see if there's anything interesting going on on the backside because you never know. Oh, that was a bad noise. What I was trying to get at is you never know what kind of detail Funko's going to be adding to it. So let's see what we've got going on here. And yeah, there really isn't much else on the figure. It's pretty much just like a red pop with yellow and black eyes. And if you guys are wondering, this is not from the newer Astro Boy. This one's actually from the older one that I believe was sometime in the 80s. I think it was around there. 70s or 80s, I'm not exactly sure, but it was definitely around that time and not the newer one that came out in like 2008. Even though I did really enjoy that movie and I should probably watch that one again, maybe I will. And now let's get into this Chase Mario because I did a little bit more research after we had left the store and I found out that he is actually an actor from Thailand. And I really gravitated towards this figure because for me, I don't see Pop Asia figures very often. Like I mentioned, they don't really come to North America. So when I see them, I tend to pick them up. And usually when I pick them up, I don't know much about them and I do my research after. But when it came to this Astro Boy one, I did know a little bit about them. And anyways, taking a look at this one a little bit closer up, you can actually see it's got 8 Deuce 8 trademark on the back, which I believe is his brand. I mean, I did a little bit of research and that's what it looked like. And now since we've got it here, I might as well take it out of the box. And also, now that I've got these two really random figures, I was thinking of doing another one of like Funko Pops you've probably never heard of. And I know you would have heard of these ones today, but besides that, you probably haven't. And here is the pop, and it kind of just looks like a person because that's what it is. But I like that they gave him the detail of the earring as well as he's wearing a necklace. It's pretty decent. And I do realize that this is an older Funko Pop, so it's going to be somewhat static with just like the arms to the sides. He's not really holding anything, but for 2015, I think it looks pretty good. And also, while I was doing a little bit of research on this figure, I found that he's still selling it on his website for like 30 bucks. So if you want to pick one up, go for it. And now that we've gone through those figures, I did promise you guys I would open up two Sully sodas today. And I'm actually really pumped about these because I bought the last ones they had and fingers crossed there's a flock chase inside these things. Because I'm looking on my shelf and now that I've purchased these two, I believe this would be maybe six and seven or seven and eight. It's been a lot. So I guess let's just crack into this first soda and let's find out if we got a chase. And also this one does feel really heavy. And I mean, all Sully's do, but you never know. It could be a little bit heavier with the flocking. And something else that's nice about this one is that it wasn't popping out of the bottom, which a lot of the other ones were because of how heavy they were. And I don't know if that changes anything. Maybe like the flocking like cushions the blow a little bit. I think I'm overthinking this. But anyways, let's get into this one and let's find out, did we get the flocked chase? I hope we did because I don't want to have to buy more of these things. I mean, here's the thing. I really enjoy Sully, but to have to buy like a ninth and 10th one is a little crazy. So let's find out, did we get the flocked chase? I did not. But you know what, people? It's okay, because I still have another one to open up today. And if you guys want to check out what the soda looks like, you guys can see there it is right there, Sully on one side, and then on the other it says it's limited to one out of 8,400. And now, everybody, let's do soda number two, because I really am excited. And this is the last one that I'm probably going to buy for a while, especially because my Toys R Us is now sold out. I don't want to have to buy another one. I know I've said it a bunch. I really don't want to buy another one. So here we go. Come on. Please be a chase. Please be a chase. Please be a chase. Please be a chase. Does it feel fluffy? I can't tell. But here we go. It is. It is. I can't tell yet. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Not flocked. You know what, guys? I don't really know what my luck is with these sodas, but for some reason, whenever it comes to flocked ones, I hardly ever get them. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And let me know in the comment section below, what was the last Funko Pop that you picked up? And if you haven't picked one up in a while, what's one that you're thinking of buying? And I know I've asked this before, but I'm always really curious to see what you guys are hunting for at the moment. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Drippin' like a drip, drip, school. Fold. On a full with school. School. Maybe gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B54 thump. I'm a hump. On a bump. Jack and Jill. Up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin. Man, I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lashes.